Holy shit. Oh my god. Woo! It won't really at work. I sit like this because okay. I'm so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, All right, what part of you is uncomfortable? Uh, well, it's in my shoulder blades. Okay. And in my lower back, like between, like my sciatic on both sides, but like in that like tailbone area. Um, well, it goes back to 2014. Okay. Um, I was at a red light in my car, uh -huh. and uh, the guy behind me was not paying attention, and he hit me at 65, 70 miles an hour. So like, I don't remember having pain before that. Okay. I would say my neck's been bothering me, um, okay. but the shoulder blade thing is more recent. Um, okay. I have heard you carry your stress in your back, so maybe it's just that. Do you get headaches? Not too much, but sometimes I do, and they're a little intense. And, once a month, and they're or like more? up here, like once a month, I would say. They're up here. Yeah, like in my like behind your eye, you know, oh, okay. kind of. Yeah. One side more than the other. Yeah, I would say this side. Oh, uh, when you get pain in your back, do you ever get pain that goes down your legs? I have before. It has been a while, okay, but that, I have. Okay, that's good. What kind of what what do you do for it? Like when your back hurts, what do you feel like? Well, I. Pretend I'm a chiropractor, and I do crack it a little sometimes. Okay, good. Um, I try and stretch. I feel like I'm I'm very small, so I feel compact, if that makes sense, like very constricted. Mm -hmm. um, so I try and stretch. It helps sometimes, but it's only temporary. Right, so how bad does the low back hurt? Like, is Pretty it every bad. day? Yeah, it's every day. All right, is it all day, every day? Um, mostly, yes. Um, I drive a lot, and I also sit a lot at a desk. So it's I'm either sitting for the day or... I'm driving for the day, so there's okay. a lot of pressure being. Worse with sitting, better with movement. Better with movement, yeah. I feel like when I'm up and doing things, it doesn't bother me as much. It bothers me more when I'm in place. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to do an exam on your spine. I'll explain what okay. I'm doing while I'm doing it. Well, when I get to the adjustment, I'll explain it, and then we'll practice one, so okay. there won't be any surprises ever. We'll go nice and slow. Okay. It'll be fine, and then I'll get you adjusted. Okay. Before we get started today, please listen to this message. I've handled the medical aspect of hundreds of personal injury, motor vehicle accident, and worker compensation cases, and trust me, it matters who your lawyer is. We pay for insurance for almost everything. You can't buy a toaster today without being asked for insurance. Car insurance, health insurance, home insurance. Your employer pays an insurance in case you get hurt on the job. So if you have an accident in any of these places that you have insurance for, why wouldn't you use a lawyer? The worst thing I've seen people do is nothing at all. And that just makes the physical and the financial problems even worse, all because they thought it was too complicated to hire a lawyer. Well, with Morgan & Morgan, it's simple. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without ever having to leave your couch. From your phone, you can upload documents, medical bills, sign contracts. You can even text your attorney throughout your case. Look, do I wish we lived in a society where everyone just helped each other? Yes, I do. But Morgan & Morgan is literally a law firm for the people. That's why over 3 million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan. So if you've been injured, you can check out the link below for more information. All right, looking at the feet first, there's a little bit of uh, eversion on the left foot, a little bit more than the right as she started off. We'll see if that continues when she comes back. Good, coming back this way. Good. There's a little bit of that how um, genuvalgum with the knock knee, just a tiny bit from a wide hip base, and that's okay too. Good. Hip height looks like we're higher on the left, and it looks like a restricted hip sway to the right. A little bit more to the left. Shoulder height, we're high on the left, and a slight lateral, slight lateral flexion. I can't tell you, just lateral flexion to the right here. Stop right there. Yep, there's a little bit of right lateral flexion, high left mastoid process, high left shoulder. This is just, everyone has these things, okay. by the way. I'm not so I'm not sure about stuff, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, You don't have to go home and Google anything. Like, this is normal stuff. Okay. okay. All right, so high left mastoid, high left shoulder. I'm going to put my hands on top of your That's waist, fair. okay? Good. High left hip, too. Nope, high right hip. I'm going to touch the bottom of your feet. Okay. A little ticklish. Arch is decreased okay. on both sides. No arch. Go ahead turn around the other side. This way? Yep, all the way. And then, but no pronation, supination here, straight on Achilles tendon. Just a very slight genuvalgum there, but not bad. Well, everyone's going to sway a little bit, even if you have good balance, but actually you're doing fantastic so far. That's good. Okay, good. There's a little... Not doing the mom rock yet. <laughs> okay, nice and still. I feel myself swaying now. 
It's very subtle, about even forward to back, but just as much left to right. So there's a possibility of some hypermobility there. Yeah, it keeps wanting to go to the right. So let's do this. Go ahead and open your eyes. Can you do this? Can you touch your thumb to your forearm? What? Can you touch your thumb to your forearm? Like, are you super flexible? No. This way. Come forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty close. Pretty close. Turn around. Let me see your back of your neck. Okay, no stork bite there. That's good. So I'm not sure if we have hypermobility yet. We'll have to see. Okay, so looking at the shoulder blades here, we do have a high left. Confirmed. I'm going to place my hand on your hips again. Okay. Good. Now seated, the left hip comes up higher. Mastoid process is almost even now. It was high left before, still slightly high now. Okay, ready? It is like right here in, this, yeah. in the mid thoracic. He's like, you're sensitive there. There's a little bit of hypertonicity on this side. The muscles here are just a little bit more tense. I don't think that you have a curvature in your spine, but we're going to check when you stand up. Okay. okay I'm going to do a temperature evaluation with the back of my hands. Okay. Nice and consistent, very even. Nothing jumping out at me here. A little bit warmer at the top. These muscles are working a little bit harder up here, your trap muscles. Yeah. But then in between the shoulder blades is actually very symmetrical and moderate all the way down through a little colder over the sacrum, which is normal. Okay, I'm going to push down a little bit deeper into the muscles. Yeah. Terrible? Yeah. How's your pain tolerance? Pretty high. Yeah, that's in there. That like that's one of my sensitive spots. Mm -hmm. The spine is actually okay in this area though. There's nothing in the spine that's jumping out at me. Well that's good then. On the left. Right. Let's check the right. Tender right there? Yeah, a little bit. Not as much as the other side, though. This is more tender over here? Yeah. It seems like there's some spine stuff going on up here. Yeah, that's been bothering me a lot recently. Like, that area mm -hmm. into my neck. Like, where I've been, like, pulling my fingers down from my head to my neck to, like, try mm -hmm. and release it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here, your C7. We're going to have to adjust that segment. Okay. Possibly on the left. Feel it over here, too. Yeah. My guy, okay. okay. No trigger points in the rhomboid areas. Good. The rhomboids are clear. The traps are clear. So there's some spinal muscle things happening. So we have to take care of those muscles. Okay. And then we've got a couple of segments here. We're going to definitely adjust up here. Do one here. Okay, I'm going to palpate your SI joints now. Okay. Yeah, those are very tender. Yeah. yeah, usually sitting pain is SI joint related. So one, two, which one more? Uh, do it one more time. One, uh -huh. two. This side. Left? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, lower. Yeah. It doesn't hurt when you do that, by the way. It's just sensitive. Okay, ready? One, two. I'd say they're about the same. Both the same. Okay, which which is more? One, two. One. Down here. Yeah. Lower SI joint. And so lower left and lower right are the same? Yeah. They feel different types of tender, if that makes sense. Okay. This fine. is like a deeper tender. This one's like a lighter. Okay, we'll just have to dig into it a little bit more. Good, L5. You're definitely flexible. I am. <laughs> L5 is bouncy. C7 
see this turn to the left? Go turn to the right. Get back to center. And down to your chest. Work out. Good movement in five and six. Two and three. Okay, let's do this. Bring your left ear to the shoulder. Can you hear it already? Mm -hmm. Which side feels more restricted? Left, right side? Left side. Right side. Okay, uh, let's bring your toes together. Good. Okay, I'm going to look at you the way your pelvis is turned right now. Okay. okay? Okay, so looking from the top, they're even from left to right, so there's no external or internal rotation. Okay. Looking from the bottom of the glute fold, it's lower on the right. That just means your right hip is turned back a little bit like okay. this. Okay. Good, no deviations here. No curvatures, go and stand back up. Okay, the spine tells a little bit of a different story when you're laying down. There is just a slight flattening here in the thoracic, so we'll do some anteriors there. Yeah, so even though the muscles are tense here on the left, it's the spine on the right, that one right yeah, there. Yeah, it's tender. Here, T3 shows up now that you're laying down. Right or left? Don't right. Yeah. L three four right.
Nice, gentle breathing. Let your head and shoulders relax. Shoulders relaxing here. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and out. Good.
god. Flip your head. Oh no. Oh no, I did see this. Oh no. No, it's not gonna work. No? Am I too tiny? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm serious. Let's go. We're almost Hi. there. It's only gonna be a minute. Okay. Okay, this is a full spine adjustment, okay? Mm. Okay, it's just as safe as all the other adjustments that I've done today, okay? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna use this towel to support <laughs> your neck. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm really scared. Okay, you're doing great. Just keep breathing. It's okay to be <laughs> nervous. Just know that I've done this hundreds of times. It's not okay. It's hurt. Okay. Okay, you're gonna breathe, and as you breathe out, I'm gonna go like this and mm. pull, okay? Good, nice breath. Sink in shoulders and hips. Holy sh! Oh my God! Woo! <laughs> that was a lot. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Did you feel it all the way down? I I felt it like probably to I don't know I can't really feel I couldn't feel mm -hmm. my hips too much because mm -hmm. they were yeah yeah, yeah. constrict. Mm -hmm. But wow, yeah that I felt a lot. It's pretty good. That was very good. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I've needed that for a very long time. All right, walk around a little bit. Take a lap. Take it for a test drive. <laughs> okay. Wow. I feel brand new. I feel like uh, loose. I feel very loose. That's very good. Very nice. 10 out of 10. Wow.